Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, I know I said I was going to do the tabs, but um, I'm waiting um, to do the tabs. I think they're going to be on Friday, the tabs are. Um, because today, um, I started playing with some other bits and um, you know the, I'm using my stash. So yeah, I started get pulling out um, lots and lots of different bits of pieces and um i just started playing with them and making things out of them and i have this cute little dish full of really cool ephemera so let's see what i have made <coughs> excuse me so i made this cute little ticket first off what i did was i went through um all of my tim holtz ephemera because i find that I only tend to use, I do use it, but I don't use a lot of it. So, I mean, I love the snippets and the little lump number labels. I love using those. But as for the ephemera packs, I don't tend to use them a lot, um, like especially the bigger pieces. So I was going through them and I was picking out some bits and pieces. And I thought, what better way to use them up than to, oh, let me just move that around, than to make some cute little charms. And I just put one of the bulb pins on it um, and grunged it up a little bit. And let me move these bits out of the way first and show you my little pins. So then I couldn't tell you what packs these are out of because I've boxed them all up and I just took um, little bits and pieces out of each pack. So there's a little photo made from a charm and I backed it all on the Tim Holtz paper as well. And here's another one. They're just so cool. And then here's two more. They're just literally pieces of ephemera backed onto cardstock. And I think this one, I oh, oh, just love that one. Absolutely love that one. It's just so cool. And then I have a round one and a little label that I stamped on as well. Um, so they're those. Um, I also went over them with a bit of vintage um, collage medium and some crackle paste. Now, the crackle paste, you can really see. Um, let me just. There we go. Can you really see? There you go. How cool does that look? And I grunged up all the edges as well, mounted it on a bit of foam just so it's a little bit more sturdier. And it's just a really cool charm to hang off of any bit of any parts of your work. So then I started thinking and um, I started going through my washi tape and I've got so much washi tape that I've had for so long. Um, and I thought, Do you know what? There's got to be something I can do with those that's just like you know the usual thing that you do with washi tape so i had some um reels with these labels on oh let me just focus in there we go yep some reels with these labels on and i thought they're good and um i can use them but they're really thin paper so i thought well if i wanted to use them as and i've got two rolls um, if I wanted to use them as like journaling spots or something like that, um, then what better way than just to mount them on some clear card. And now I have some really cool journaling cards that I can just slide into my work. And I just cut them out, rounded the corners, vintage photo around the edge and everything. And yeah, I just think they're, they're just so cool. Um, and they'd look perfect on your work and stuff like that. Um, then I also, um, I got some of my washi tape and I believe if I can find it, here it is. So this is a roll of the, um, Heidi Swap washi tape and I believe it's part of a Halloween collection. Um, so what I did was I took two strips and I just put them on a piece of white cardstock and then I took some more ephemera, stamped on that again, um, got a ticket, and then I just mounted them onto this piece of paper. And you've got two more really cool tickets. 
So that's that one. And then I found um, a reel of washi tape, which is this one. And I haven't got a clue where I got it from. I've had it for, well, for quite a while. It's probably an Amazon um, find. So I've got that. And again, I just mounted this onto white cardstock, cut it up and just vintaged photo all around the edge. And they're just like perfect strips just to go um, on your ephemera or anything like that. Then I have this, um, and I do believe I got this off of Amazon, not recently, last year sometime, and it's just got loads and loads of different little labels on it. And it is masking tape, it's really thin. And again, I thought, because there's lots and lots of, there's wording um, and there's these little labels and everything. So I thought, yeah, so I took a strip and I cut it up, placed it on a piece of a white, uh, A4 white card, and then I just cut the sections out. So there's the little bits and pieces. How cool are they? So your very own little snippets. And then these are the larger pieces. And they're perfect because you can just stick them on your work. So it's more ephemera. So I thought what I'd do is I'd turn the camera on and make some ephemera. So first off, we're gonna need all sorts of different types of washi tape. So every, go for your washi tape, any kinds of washi tape you like. It really doesn't matter, um, but you know, use it up because it's just, pointless just to keep having it so i've got all these i have some tim holtz washi tape as well so we're going to be using lots and lots of washi tape i also made a strip of the aluminium foil paper um just for a background so i just just one strip just put it on some card didn't bother doing the back um so yeah just use that as a backing um, I also have the piece of card that I put the Heidi Swap washi tape on and I've just sanded it as well because, well, you know, me and sanding. And um, I'm going to be using some Versify and Claire, my favourite vintage photo and scorched timber. I also have some Crackle Paste, translucent, and I have my um, Distress Collage Medium in Vintage which I think might have um, gone off, but I'm still going to use it. It still works. If anything, because it's gone off, it reacts with the paper and um, it really makes it look effective. So, yeah, so I'm going to keep using that because I have three quarters of a tub and I've really struggled to find this anywhere. So I don't know if it's discontinued. I hope it's not because it's a really good medium. Um, what else have I got? I have pulled out... Um, I have pulled out loads of little bits of ephemera. Um, like I said, they're from all sorts of um, Tim Holtz packets. So just go through go through your packs and then pull out um, any little bits. Um, I think that's the largest I've got. This might be the largest I've gone. Um, but yeah, they're just, just, you know, small sized pieces of ephemera. I also have my bulb clips as well in black and silver. And I think that's it. Oh, and last but not least, I have my little sander because I can't go anywhere without that. So, yeah, let's get started on making some ephemera. Right, so the first ones we're going to make is um, the Tim Holtz ephemera. Ones we're going to make our own little snippets, I think. And I've got lots of, um, well, I've got two packs. I've got the green pack and the red pack um, of the Tim Holtz craft stock. So we're going to be using that and I like the look of this one. So first off, I'm going to be doing that. I might do another photo. Um, let's. I'm going to do this one because that one looks really cool. And I want some numbers as well. Oh, let's do a date. Um, I've already done that one yes 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 
and then a little 50 cents. Um, I think I've got some blue cardstock for that one. And then let's do that one as well. Right, so let's put these aside. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to just give them a quick distress. It's just easier to um, do it now. be able to tell on the photo or that one there we go and then we're just going to give them a quick ink up um, and then I'll be back right so I've inked them all up and now I'm going to find them bits of cardstock to go on and I think no I'm going to put this one on and I'm just going to glue it down with a tiny little border and I think I'll put the photo on green as well. Now remember to leave space in between otherwise the border's not going to work out. So let's cut there ready and then let's have a flick through, see what we've got. Um, I quite like this one. It's kind of giving me speckled egg vibes. this one on too perfect and now let's have oh, let's cut these out so they're ready I think I'm going to stick this one on here. I'm going to put this one on the silver cardstock. Let that dry. And I think I'm going to put this one on there as well. I'm going to put onto the red background. Oh, I like that. And then this one too. And then cut these out. Put the card stop away and then I'm just going to give these a few seconds to dry and then we'll cut them out right so I have cut them all out there's a couple um, that I thought I would just turn into a tag and I'm just going to use the small if I can get it right that's it the small end 
of my tag punch and on this one as well I don't know if that will yeah I kind of like that one a bit bigger perfect and now I'm going to get my crocodile that I definitely need a new one because she's she's proper bad right but my birthday's coming up so woohoo let's put hole there right now we're gonna get the eyelets and i think i'm gonna go all silver so how many have we got we've got two four six got eight so we need eight eyelets so we've got four five six go and now we're just going to put the eyelets in And I think I definitely need a new crocodile because this one is getting a little bit hard to squeeze. But it is fairly old. It's over, oh, I think it's over 12 years old. So I'm going to put the rest in and then I'll be back. Right, so I have put all the eyelets on and now I'm going to get my little spatula and my translucent crackle paste. And I'm just going to scoop and spread. And spread it out. I like to go around the eyelet to make the eyelet look like it's distressed. I'm only going to spread it out thinly. And don't worry, you will be able to see it once it's done. So again, just going to spread it in places. I don't want it to be like completely covered, just little bits. it and like I said don't don't leave it on too thick because it takes forever to dry and then a little bit over here a little splodge oh ah there's my wipe and just Keep going. I love this stuff.
there we go just rough nothing precise and now we're going to get out the vintage collage medium and this one we're going to be a little bit more careful with can you see what i mean it's gone a bit it's gone a bit blotchy but it still works and this one i'm just gonna Just kind of put bits of it around the photo. And then when this dries, it kind of just looks like you've got a big tea stain splodge On the edge of that. Same on that one. Oh, I just love, look at that. Oh, I just love it as it is. Oh, this stuff's so cool. That's why I'm just, ah, oh, stop tipping over. It's like toast and jam. Um, That's why I'm just, I'm not getting rid of it because even if it has gone off, I don't care. I'm going to use it. Even if it is all sticky. There we go. Oh, got it all on my hands. Right, so that's them done. What we're going to do is I'm going to sit them on my jar. Where's my wipe gone? I mean, they're not all going to fit on here. Ah! Right, so let's put those over here to dry. And then we'll put these three. Or two, as it seems. There. And then we'll put this one up there. No, nope, because I might need that. So we'll just rest this one there. Right, so I'm just going to leave those there to dry. And then we'll come back to those at the end and get rid of my 
sticky fingers. And now what we're going to do is we're going to, um, I've got some scrap white cardstock here and I'm just going to put of the tape on perfect and now on the other side I think this is Tim Holtz so I'm going to A strip here and then a strip here. I'm going to cut off the ends. Trim it. And trim this end too. Trim this piece out. So we've got those two there. And let's see. Let's put some of this Elizabeth craft design tape on because this has got some lovely labels on it. I want to I want the confidential so there we go Perfect. Look at all the little labels on that. Right, let's cut these out. Should be alright because I've got a line to go along. <laughs> nope. She still went off. But hey ho. Right, and then, oh, look at this one, look, it's gone right off. That's better. No, still isn't. 
that'll do that'll do right so we have we have one here perfect and then we have another here perfect and then we have that one there and then the 19 cents and then the confidential and the first class and happy okay three for five cameras and handle with care look at those cool little pieces of ephemera we've now got to use i mean you could still keep this one let's cut away that white bit because you could put that hanging off of a page how cool are they and then let's give a little sand and then a little distress and look at that perfect perfect little piece of ephemera all from just out of your washi washi tape stack stash even not stack how cool is that i could literally sit and do this all day long literally all day long oh i absolutely love those so that's from and then when you think about it from three strips from three strips of washi tape and you get you get a lot i mean i have used this so much um and you get a lot on a roll so from three strips look how many pieces of ephemera you get It's, they're just there's loads absolutely loads on there just from three pieces so let's put those in our little jar and then we have this one so first off i want to give this one just A little bit of a sand down because sand and it does burnish it to the paper as well perfect and then i'm gonna get my My little tub. Let's give this a little sand, a little ink. it down and there you have a cool little label with a different backing than just paper. So let's find something else. Nope. Oh, I like that one. Let's give it a bit of a sand because, you know. 
when I like something, I like it, <laughs> as you can tell. And it's, it's just it's just another reason, another cool way to use your stash. And this time, to use your stash, the washi tape. that will do and then let's cut it into a tag cut a hole in it and you've got a cute little piece of ephemera go around with a bit of ink that's left on your dobber maybe a little bit of a sand and how cool is that cool little piece of ephemera so that's that it's another way of using what you've got and also you know you don't have to you can just cut cut the strip out and then you've just got a piece of strip that you can just stick down onto to your junk journals i love strips let's cut this out there's another strip they're just so cool and this is ledger this is the um heidi swap ledger and i just Stands really well, Heidi Swap's washi tape, I'm not going to lie. Um, there's another strip. And then we've got this piece. Put some of these bits out of the way. And this has got loads of little pieces on it, this has. So just trim these off. And then you think that, I mean, you've all got, we've all got cardstock in our craft room. And for the price of a reel of washi tape, which is what nowadays? Say three pound? I don't know. You've got yourself some cool ephemera so just cut out all the labels again don't chuck any of it away because this could go off the edge of a tag or off the edge of a page. So keep all the little bits. And then we have these two. And 
and this is just out of one strip. And the last bits. <clears throat> Perfect. And then from one strip of that washi tape, you have all this ephemera. That's just from one strip. And then you can give it a sand if you want. You don't have to, but you know me. Give it a bit of a sand. And then go round it with your dobber. Just vintage it up a little bit. I'm not even putting any ink on my dobber. I'm just, just using what's on it. I'm going to get my... Scorch timber one as well. Oh, look at them. They're so cool. And you think it's just washi tape. It's literally just washi tape. And look how many I've got. How cool is all this ephemera and this is just from it's either from washi tape ephemera packs and you know i mean half the time i look at my ephemera pack and i'm like yeah let's make a collage Let's make a collage. And that's about it. That's about all I use it for. But then when you look at these, I mean, I could even... I'm going to. I'm going to. Let's just... Grunge this up. The glue's running out. And then just stick that on there. I mean, how cool is that? What a cool little tag. It's just so cool. But it's not just dressed enough because the other piece is really, really mucky. Ah, oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. And then you could. Stick a bit on there, stick one of these on here. I mean, it's just, it's just something else that you can do with your ephemera. So we're gonna go and have a look and see if the other bits are dry, and then we're gonna put them on their clips and stuff. So I'll be back shortly. So now they're all dry and they're looking, oh, they're just looking so cool. I mean, just look. Oh, I love, I love it. I love, 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 love it. It just, it looks like the vintage tape. Oh, it's just, oh, it's just, oh, they're, it just, oh, I love it. I love grunge. I love vintage. Right, so now we're going to put on our clips. And I think I'm going to put a black one on this one. And 
just slide in. And there you have a cute little tag. I mean, you don't have to put an eyelet in it. You can just use it as a, a grungy piece of ephemera. Right, so let's do the others. This one, I think I'm going to put a silver one on. And I do love these little clips. And there's another little cool piece of ephemera. And a tag. Oh, I love them. Another silver one, and even the grunge. Look how grungy that is on the on the aluminium foil. That's just too cool. That looks like a proper bit of rust. Let's put this one on here. And these are just, oh, you can literally just sit here and just, you know, put on your favourite TV series. Um, I'm At the minute, I'm binge watching Only Murders in the Building for, oh, I think it must be the fifth time I've watched it. Because it's I just love it. It's so cool. And just, just make your own ephemera to use in your journals or on your tags or anything. I mean, look how how that vintage medium has just gone like, it looks like just rust or someone's put something sticky on it. Oh, I love them. Right, so they've all got clips on. And let's put these, the rest away. And how cool is all this? All this ephemera. I did, while I was waiting, I put on my um, Only Murders in the Building. And I did some more. This is a piece of washi tape um, from Tim Holtz Trims. I did some more of that. I also cut up some of the other roll of the Elizabeth Craft Designs tape. And just sectioned those off as well. And then we have all this. Look at all this. That just looks that's just so cool. And you've got you've got a bundle of ephemera to go and make whatever you like. And I absolutely I do like it with the foam. I'm loving the foam at the minute. Just gives it just a little bit of dimension and yeah. Look at that crackle texture. And I think this one, I absolutely adore this one. It's just so cool. And then, you, I mean, this one I mounted onto car, onto foam. And it just, it's just another texture. It's just another layer. Oh, squeaky. But that's a ticket, a really cool ticket that you have, I've put a, a tin frame round. And a tag perfect cool they're so cool all of them oh i just i love them all absolutely love them all so i hope you give this a go if you do don't forget to tag me on social media don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time i upload a video and my next video is definitely going to be tabs so i will see you next time where we are going to have a whole video dedicated to creating tabs and i think I think I'm going to pull out my We Are Memory Keepers tab maker as well and see if I can make some larger sized ones um, for kind of like pages because I like the idea of having quite long ones. So, yeah. So thank you, everybody, for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye.